Hey campers, we're here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds during the 2022 RV Expo. And I'm here with Ken Eckstein from Mount Comfort RV. You wanna tell us about uh, the show? Well, we're, we're out here, we're at the fairgrounds. We've got over 200 units in a climate controlled building. So we don't care if it rains, we don't care if it yeah. snows, we don't care if it's cold. We're 70 <laughs> degrees inside. Yeah. There's uh, seven RV dealers out here. Um, and we've got everything really from fold downs to, to diesel pushers. All right. So, you know, if you're looking for, you know, a, a $15,000, $20,000 trailer, they're out here. And if you're looking for a half million dollar motorhome, we can set you up with that too. Sounds good. Well, why don't you show us some of them? Yeah. All right. So tell me, what are some of the trends that you're noticing in the RV industry this year? Well, and, and it's kind of fun for me because for 20 years, everything's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We came out with a slide-out, then we had to have two slide-outs, then we had to have four slide-outs. But we're seeing a totally different camper. We're seeing campers coming back into the industry. And with the people, the true campers, the ones, people that want to get outdoors and get close to nature, uh -huh. small's in again. Yeah. And people are going back to the smaller coaches. And we've got a lot of small units out here. One of the units that we've brought is the Flyer Pursue from Intech. Okay. And it, this is really designed, it's a very rugged, mm -hmm. um, off-road type It looks product. very durable. <laughs> well, and, and it is, and it's, this is designed for somebody, this isn't your retirement coach. No. This isn't the, you know, take, take it to the beach coach. This is a coach where you're going off the road, yeah. going back in the woods. Yeah. And it's, it's got a lot of nice features to it. Is awning, this still an awning? Air, yeah. yeah. It's got the air conditioner, nice. sleeping facility, but again, it's a lot more of a camper type unit yeah. than what we see um, in, in most of our product. And you've got your slide out kitchen here, oh. cooktop, refrigerator. So again, it's got a lot of the popular amenities, Yeah. but it's in a very small, very lightweight and very rugged package. All right, so there's over 200 units that are at the fairgrounds. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? Well, and, and that's the thing, when you come out here, we've got a little bit of everything. And, and again, this unit is, this is a, a Numar diesel pusher. Um, this is a condo on wheels. This is designed for, this is not something that you're gonna take out in the woods. This is something right. that you're gonna take to the beach, that you're, you know, that you're gonna take um, up into the mountains. So you've got all the luxury features here that you'd have in a fine home. Yeah. Um, hardwood cabinets, uh, solid surface countertops, um, heated floors. I mean, it's really, really a beautiful coach. And this is just one of the many RVs out here that you can see if you come out to the RV Expo. All right, so we've seen the little camper and we've seen a big one. Now tell us what you're seeing most popular. Well, and in the RV industry, you know, we've got fold downs, we've got trailers, we've got fifth wheels, we've got motorhomes. You know, 75, 80 percent of what we sell are the travel trailers. Okay. And, and, and that's what we have here. You know, our most popular models are, are the conventional travel trailers. And, and the, these are things that, you know, a uh, family can get into. You know, they'll sleep four, they'll sleep six. Okay. You know, you've got um, pricing, you know, 15000 to $25,000, and, and again, you know, it's very, very affordable, and you've got your vacation home and carry with you. Yeah. Do you want to show us inside? We can do that. Now, this is the kind of camper that we grew up with, where you've got a dinette that makes into a bed, you've got a sofa that makes into a bed, uh -huh. but it has all the modern amenities air conditioner, microwave, um, double door refrigerator, glass top cooking area. Yeah. They, uh, so you've got a lot of the luxury amenities, but again, you're in a package, you know, for, for somebody with good credit, you know, $200 a month, and you can be camping in something like this. Okay, very nice. So with the pandemic, has that affected the RV sales much? Um, it absolutely has because, and again, when you look at RVing, RVing by nature, by design, our, what we do is get you out and you get out with your own family. Right. So if you need to quarantine, 
we got the perfect place to quarantine. Yeah. You know, if you want to social distance, social distancing was RVs are all about. Yeah. So you, we've got so many different features and so many different options that you can do, but you can do it in your own family pod with your own group, with your own people. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I see they have a dry erase marker board. Is that for homeschooling or that's, virtual it, learning? It's perfect for homeschooling. <laughs> yeah. And and this is what we've seen. We've seen this with people where because the the e-learning and they have to yeah. be they have to teach their kids at home. Why not take your home where it needs to be, and you can do your e-learning from an RV. Yeah, that would be nice. So have you seen a lot of people using RVs then to social distance and quarantine at home? Yeah, and, and early on the pandemic, that was a, lo a big part of what we were seeing. Uh, but, but i got to tell you one of my favorite stories. So we've got a financial advisor that we've known for, you know, five, six, seven years. And, and we're a couple months into the pandemic, and he calls up and says, Hey, Ken, Ken, Ken. He said, Now, do, do you rent these things? Do you rent them? I was like, well, yeah, we, we, we rent them. He goes, well, I, I, want, I want to rent one for, for, for next week. How's that work? I said, well, you give me money and we give you an RV and then you take it out and go camping. And he goes, here's the story. He says, I'm not allowed to go into my office. I'm working from home. Yeah. He said, I just got told that my we have to homeschool the kids, that we're not allowed to take the kids out. And so I thought, rather than being stuck in our house with my kids, why not take an RV and go out? Yeah. So it's like, great idea we'll set you up so i get a call two days later and says hey ken ken do you have two of these motorhomes and it's like yeah he says we want to rent two of them he says my partner wants to do the same thing too so I'm like, okay great so three days five days later they're out camp and i get the call says ken 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 can we have these for another week and i said well yeah dan what's going on he says we're down here in gulf shores alabama he says we're sitting on the beach he said, the kids are e-learning. He says, we're doing our work. He says, we're working four or five hours a day. We're playing the rest of the day on the beach. He said, this is absolutely a great way to go. Sounds and I think great. that that's one of the things that, that's a new dimension for what we offer with a product that's been around as a vacation home for over 40 years. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so tell me, who are you seeing buying RVs right now? Well, right now, we're seeing a broader spectrum than we ever have in the industry. And the millennial generation has really embraced the RV lifestyle. They, they love the outdoors. They yeah. love camping. They love trails and bikes. Mm -hmm. And we fit right into that lifestyle. Yeah. And for that reason, that's the reason we're seeing so many of the small units become popular again. And the B-Vans have come back in a big, big way. The B-Vans are a motorhome that's basically on a van chassis. So you're the size of an SUV, the size of a pickup truck, and you've got a, a motorhome. Okay. Yeah. Now, and, how many would a small one like this sleep? Well, and actually, they, they, they list this as a three sleeper, but actually you've got three separate sleeping areas in this coach. You've got a full bed in the back, you've got a medium bed in the middle, and then they have an inflatable bed that actually goes in the driver's compartment. Oh. So, depending on how small the people are, yeah. maybe 12 or 15. Oh, man. Oh, wow, this one's beautiful. Yeah, the fifth wheels have traditionally been a big, big part of our market. And, and a lot of the people that look at this caliber unit, are, it's a retirement coach. It's a condo on wheels where you can take your vacation with you. Yeah. And this unit has a lot of luxury features to it. This has the big uh, four-door Furion refrigerator Wow. with your wine. I know that's important yeah. to you and Steve. Beautiful. We're going to have your wine with you. <laughs> the uh, um, glass uh, glass covered cooking surface. You've got um, a lot of nice features in this. This is a front living room floor plan, which gives you a great area for conversation. Beautiful nice place fireplace. to sit down. You got the fireplace. You got the televator TV. Couple slide outs. The, That's really nice. And this is the Hemisphere by Salem, which is one of their luxury brands. Yeah. But they've stayed, like you said, contemporary with um, the, you know, your, your table here is kind mm -hmm. of a refractory type table with yeah. bench seating as the well as the... Light fixtures are pretty too. Light fixtures, yeah. the ceiling fan, the, um, just loads and loads of features. Um, and a package that, that again, is not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah. 
And in this particular model, your bedroom's in the back, and you've got oh, a wow, sunken bedroom. Oh, wow, this is really big, too. <laughs> the, well, it's kind of fun, too. You've got a sunken bedroom here. Yeah. And the reason they do that is because you're standing under a loft. Oh, okay. So we've got a staircase out here that leads you upstairs into a bunk room. Okay, so there's so, more living space upstairs. Well, and, and that's just it. You've got two bedrooms that are made up all the time. Upstairs okay. for the kids, downstairs for mom and dad. That's nice. All right, well, thanks for showing us around. The, well, thanks for having us. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Now, we're out here this week from 11 to 9, Monday through Friday. And Monday through Friday, it's buy one, get one free. Oh. The, RV. No, 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 not the RVs. Oh, okay. Admission is buy one, get one free. Okay. Then on Saturday, we'll be here 10 to 9, and we're here on Sunday, 11 to 5. All right. Well, we hope to see you out here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds.